Hi, I'm Tommy Lawson from Edinburgh. I don't have subtitles today, so good luck. Could you be upstanding, please? Stand up, please. Okay, have a seat. Okay, I'm going to tell you about uh, a programme that's underway in Scotland, in Edinburgh. Uh, we hope to become the data capital of Europe, and it's underpin underpinned by an education programme from 3 to 18 year old, which is our interest here today. Everybody's got a wheel. Uh, the areas that uh, we are really interested in are uh, looking at fintech, come on, out of breath, uh, agriculture, space, robotics, and some others. Who remembers Dolly the sheep? There she is. We're now lifting as much data as we can from all aspects of agriculture, churning it up and producing more efficient growing cycles for crops, healthier and happier animals in farms. <coughs> also in healthcare, we've got our own National Health Service data log. And we're now uh, looking at that data, uh, providing uh, advanced research and development and better uh, healthcare for our citizens. Uh, we, to do that, we're underpinning it all with uh, lots of supercomputers, uh, and gladly, they've still got lights on them. Uh, so uh, this means jobs for people and education program behind that as well. So our project is Data Education in School. It's in the city uh, region. And we've got six education authorities, which translates into 552 schools and 120,000 learners. Woo. So just a little bit about Scotland, in case you don't know where we are. We're small, we're beautiful, and at the moment, we're still attached to the United Kingdom. <laughs> and we're still attached to Europe. Something about our education system. Now, education in Scotland is based on the values of our parliament, wisdom, justice, compassion, and integrity. And all that we do in our curriculum attempts to deliver successful learners, confident individuals, responsible citizens, and effective contributors. Now, our curriculum framework for data education is not going to be delivered on top of all these subject areas. It's going to be integrated into that, uh, these subject areas. So it's going to be taught right across the curriculum. Might be teachers of geography, primary school teachers, modern studies, etc. Now we're beginning to develop uh, some resources, some teaching materials, and these are going to be integrated into the Scottish curriculum. And of course, we're providing a variety of professional learning opportunities as well. So let's dip into some of the activities that we've been doing in the last year, our pilot year. We've worked with others across Scotland to create what we think is the first countrywide school qualification in data science. 120 hours of study for the 14 to 18 age group, and this is now uh, with live pupils in our, our pilot year. We've also started looking at supporting our teachers alongside the learners. Now, we've talked in this conference about how powerful intergenerational learning is. Uh, parents with their children, teachers with their pupils, all learners together. We've also linked into some other programs within the university. We're installing a long-range uh, wide area network across all schools, which will be a gateway for our public services, but also a nice, a nice playground for our learners. Uh, we've got a pie top here locally so that the learners can see the data, and we've got lots of Alfred de Owls filled with sensors out in the, uh, the countryside. Like many other countries, we've got a problem with obesity, so we've got co-created a program with Fitbit-style sensors, uh, our young people own their data and look at ways in which they can make lifestyle changes. The learners are also collecting other data and finding school ways to process and visualize it. Last week, the system was monitoring the weather and selecting from Spotify playlists depending on the weather. Now, in Scotland, we've got four seasons in every day, so plenty of music. We brought together nearly 200 10 to 16 year olds for an unplugged event called Data Town to think about the data that's around their own houses, the streets and the town. And we got them to think creatively about what we could do better with that data. The pilot started in a, a special school uh, and the youngsters were sampling and categorizing plastic waste. And then the fun part was designing and coding a sphero based robot to collect plastic in the school swimming pool. 
Now, there's an incredible amount of data being generated every single day in our schools, but this tends to stay in silos. Uh, we want our children and we want our researchers to start mining that data. Can we come up with ideas on how to improve learning uh, from the data that's already in school? And finally, uh, if you want to come uh, to Scotland, if you want to come and join us, uh, or join us on our journey, then please get in touch. So thank you very much.